Hi everybody, today we're going to be counting in twos, fives and tens, ready to start learning about money tomorrow. But we need to make sure we can count in twos, fives and tens because that will help us when working with money. So let's have a look first of all at counting in tens. So here we go, are you ready when the splat comes on to count in tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I bet you were really good at that because we've done lots of counting in tens in school. So how many eggs are there in each box? Have a think, how many eggs are there in each box? There are 10 eggs in each box, well done. So how many boxes are there? Three boxes. So how many eggs are there all together? Now, do I need to? Go one, two, three, four and start counting like that. Or is there an easier way I can do it? Of course there's an easier way, isn't there? I hope you're saying it. I hope you're going 10, 20, 30. Because we know three lots of 10 is 30. So well done if you managed to do that. And if you count in tens three times, a bit like your times tables, 10, 20, 30. Three times 10 is 30. So there are 10 straws in each bundle. How many bundles do we have? We've got six bundles. How many straws are there all together? So again, we don't need to count each individual straw, do we? We need to count in tens. Hopefully you're saying that. So off you go. Six lots of 10 or six times 10 is? It is 60, isn't it? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Well done if you managed to do that. Okay, now we're ready. So here we have our number track. And Tiny is putting splats all over them. Oh. He's put a splat on one of the numbers. What number has he put a splat on? Have a little think. What comes in between 80 and 100? It is 90, isn't it? Oh, tiny. What's it like? 90. Let's have a look at these then. Oh, again, he's put more splats on these. Tiny's not been very careful with his paint, has he? I wonder if they were on his feet. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to write down what the missing numbers are here and what the missing numbers are here. So our missing numbers are 40 and 50 because it's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So well done if you did that. And the bottom one is 90 and 80. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60. So well done if you did that. So, next question. Stickers are sold in packs of 10. So it's all counted in tens. They're sold in packs of 10. How many packs would you need to get 50 stickers? So if you want 50 stickers and they're in packs of 10, how many packs would you need to buy? So pause the video and have a think. How many packs would you need to get for 50 stickers? Think. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So how many packs would I need? One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you said that, didn't you? Because we know 10 times five equals 50. Fantastic. Right, counting in twos this time. So here we have our number lines. Are we ready? Two, four, six, eight. 10. And we're just going to start off quite simple, first of all, and then we'll build up a little bit trickier later. So what can we count in twos? Have a little think. What can we count in twos? And remember, twos are like a pair of something. There's a little bit of a clue. So we're going to pause the video. Have a think. What can you count in twos? We could count gloves, because they're a pair, aren't they? We've got gloves, docks. Eyes, two cards, dice if it shows the number two, two flowers, a pig. What do you think the pig is for? Miss Crease is not quite sure there. I wonder if it's his feet. Do you think it's his feet? I think it's his feet. The bike has got two wheels. Okay, so lots of things we can count in twos there. So this time, we're going to count in twos using our tens frame. Two, four, Six, eight, ten. Perfect. How many ducks then this time? How many? How many? Two, three, four, five, 
many? There are eight, aren't there? Two, four, six, eight. So we can use the tens frame to help us. What about how many mittens there are already? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty mittens. So can you see we don't have to go one, two, three because actually we're counting two mittens. So we've got two, four, six, and I'm sure you were doing that with me. There are twenty mittens. How many eyes then this time? Okay. Count in twos. Off you go. Pause the video. Okay, we're ready. So there are, oh, there are eight eyes. Fantastic. Now I've added some more. How many more have I added and how many eyes are there now? There are 18 because I had eight here and then I had 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So well done if you managed to do that. 18 eyes. What about juice boxes then this time? How many juice boxes are there? There are 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then what's happened is they've taken them away and they've gone backwards this time. Goodness me. Right, so we're going to count in twos a little bit further on this time. We've counted to 30. All right, so we're going to carry on counting in twos. What would our next number be if we're counting in twos from 30? It would be 32, wouldn't it? Can you see the pattern? We miss a number and we go to the next number. We're counting in even numbers. Any even number that ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 is in our two times tables. So 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. What would the next numbers be? See if you can do it yourself. So hopefully you said... 42, 44, 46, 48 and 50. Well done if you did that. I'm sure you did. Okay, so let's have a look this time then. How many bread rolls do I have? Pause the video and see if you can count them. Ready? So there are how many bread rolls? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. Did you get the same answer? I'm sure you did. Well done. What number is missing in our number track this time then? What numbers go in between these? Remember it's counting in twos. There's a bit of a clue. So pause the video and write down the missing numbers. So the missing numbers are... We're counting backwards, we've got 44 and 38. Well done if you used part of the 100 square to help you. Or, even better, if you just knew counting in twos and what number was missing. Let's have a look at counting in fives then. Are we ready? 5, 10, 15, 20. Nice and simple. 5, 10, 15, 20. Again, we'll start off simple and then work our way up. So what can we count in fives? Have a little think. What could we count in fives? Hmm. We could count our fingers. We could count on a dice, showing the number five. We could count a five pound note, which is what we're going to start looking at. We could count five pairs in a bag. We could count five pencils in a pot and we could count them in fives, couldn't we? Are we ready? Five, ten, 15, 20. So we've used our numicon there to help us. So if we're at 20 and one more car comes along, that takes us to 25. If I brought another car along, what would it take us to? It would take us to 30, wouldn't it? Well done. Fantastic. What about the next one then? Where would we go next? To 35. Because you can see our pattern. If we're counting in fives, it ends in a five or a zero. Fantastic. Right, every time this 5p goes into the pot, I want you to count in fives. Are we ready? 5, 10. I'm not going to do it anymore. You're going to do it. I'm going to keep quiet.
Did you get 40? I forgot I moved on there, didn't I? I hope you did. So let's count together. Are we ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so we had 50 fingers there, didn't we? Because we counted in fives. Well done. So you decide how many fingers do we have now? Remember to count in fives. There are... 25. It moved on there, didn't it? I thought it was going to show the answer and it didn't. I forgot about that. So it was 25. Well done if it did that. What about this time? There are 30 this time, aren't there? Fantastic. Okay, so ready. How many this time? 20. Well done. How many this time? Well done. And let's have a go at counting backwards. Are we ready? Five. Oh, Miss Creasa started counting forwards there, didn't I? Count backwards, Miss Creasa. Let's start again. I'm sorry if you did it right. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Zero. God, I kept getting tongue-tied there as well, didn't I? Okay. Well done, everybody. You worked really hard today, counted in twos, fives and tens. Maybe you could try and go on Times Table rock stars to practice your twos, fives and tens times tables because that will help you when we're counting money. Take care, everybody.